What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys which is the best free 90 overall player you should choose. For those who don't know, EA has given out a free 90 overall player for those who actually buy Madden 25 right now. Originally, I thought it was only for those players who bought the game right now, because that is a deal going on. So apparently, if you haven't got the game and you end up getting a game right now, um, mid-season or now or next month you know the deals gonna continue to go on because that's how usually does it you will get a free 90 overall player with it as well as additional things however i didn't know that ea was going to give out the, the the free 90 overall to to a lot of other people who pre uh, not pre-ordered the game but who got the game um when the game first dropped also which which is i was one of them so that's why they make the video right away because if it's only for those people who just bought the game i, I mean I, I probably should do a video anyway especially if the game is just dropping but if especially knowing that I, that a lot more people have got it i figured i'd go ahead and uh you know do a video on the best 90 overall so let me go ahead and get into it and show you guys what i'm talking about it's this free uh man 25 holiday deluxe pack I ended up getting the player, so apparently it's for those who actually got the game in general. So if you didn't get the pack, please let me know so I get more clarification. But I did not buy the game this late in the season. I literally pre-ordered the game right before it came out. So I ended up getting the pack, so I know a lot of more people are going to be getting the pack. But let's go ahead and go over these stats and see which is the best one to choose. These are actually some pretty good players. They're 90 overalls. I didn't expect to get it um, pretty decent. Xavier Worthy, he is 5'11", 165 pounds. I don't know if the pounds are really a big difference, but that is kind of small though. 90 speed though, which is which is good because you see my Jamar Chase is 90 speed. 88 jumping, 89 catching, 91 catching traffic, 90 spectacular, 89 short route, 89 medium route, and 90 deep route. So honestly, this card is pretty uh, route rounded. The only thing that I can see people saying is the height. But honestly though, 5'11 is not that much shorter than um six foot so i think this is actually a pretty decent card um those stats are actually pretty well rounded like that's actually surprising me so Jaden daniels which i actually got i got the 88 overall version of him um with blue kim's mine is at 89 i'm not really tripping on the qb but for those who are let me go ahead and go over these stats he's 6'4 212 pounds i mean 210 pounds 90 speed which is a big plus 89 throw power 85 short accuracy which is all right 87 um throw accuracy mid 86 throw accuracy deep 88 throw under pressure 88 throw on a run and 83 play action i'm gonna be honest with you guys the only thing good i really see about this card especially for 90 overall is the speed and throw power besides that though i mean all the other stats they're all right they're not bad but a 90 overall you see my 90 overall right I got 92 throw actually deep, 90 throw actually mid, and I got 90 throw actually short for a 90 overall Andrew Luck with 87 speed, which is only three speed off from Jaden Daniels. I'm okay with 87 speed. And then you got 88 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, and 88 play action. So to me, this Jaden Daniels, I mean, if you really need a QB, I guess he'll be all right, but there is a new another QB to go over. But to me, in my opinion, that card is, is not really that great. Another wide receiver, Malik, what, not Nevers? That's how you say his name? Oh, this one's actually all right. This one's actually better than the other one. Okay, so this one's cool. Six foot, 199 pounds. Okay, so not that far off from uh, Jamar Chase. 90 speed, 90 jumping, 90 catching, 89 catching traffic, 88 spectacular, 90 short route run, 87 medium route, and 91 deep route. This card right now, out of the three cards we went over, is the best one yet. So I'm going to go over these other cards, but right now this is actually looking pretty good. I actually like that card. Pretty decent stats. Me, in the end, I might go with the tight end, not because he's the best one. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh, why are you going with the tight end for? He's the best. No, I might go with the tight end because I, my Martellus Bennett is actually going. You see, he gets 89 speed and then he gets plus one. So he'll go up to like 90 speed on my squad. So he's a great card. However, however... I'm thinking about getting getting Brock Bowers from my squad, powering down Martellus Bennett, and then you, and then end up upgrading the right end or another position to to boost up my squad. So I'm thinking about doing that. So that's why I might get Brock Bowers. I'm, I'm not saying he's the best card, but that's why I might end up getting them just to let you guys know. So this guy is 6'4", 230 pounds, A6 speed, which is which is not all which is not too bad. It's it's, it's cool. I can work with that um, for a tight end. 
65 strength, 89 catching, 89 catching traffic. So that's cool. 91 spectacular, 88 short route, 87 medium route, and not 72 run block. I don't like that run block. But once again, though, it's very rare to find a lot of tight ends with good run block. You will find some, but you won't find many, though. So I don't go too crazy over the run block, even though I would like it. But um, it is what it is. And then we got Caleb Williams, 90 overall Caleb Williams. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. All right, so here is a QB. So his speed is 85, so, it, so it's not that high, but it's decent, though. But let's check out these stats. 90 throw power. 89 Thraxy short, 91 Thraxy mid, and 88 Thraxy deep. 88 throw under pressure, 89 throw under run, and 89 play action. So this QB is better than the other QB. So if you really do need a QB, this one will be a lot better pick this Caleb Williams than the other QB, Jalen Daniels, that we just went over. Um, apparently, I don't need him, so I'm not worrying about it. But if I did need a QB, he'll be the one I'll go with because his stats are way better than the other QB that, they, that they're offering. All right, then we got Mark. We got three in up with three wide receivers. Wow, Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's go ahead and check him out. 89 speed. Just based on the speed, I don't see a lot of people going with them. Um, unless they're just a big fan. But he is 6'3, though, so he is a lot taller. 209 pounds, 89 speed, 87 jumping. 89 speed is not bad, once again, but I know a lot of people want to go at 90 and higher. 88 catching, 92 catching traffic, 91 spectacular, 90 short route run, 89 medium route, and 91 deep route. Okay, so that's um, not bad. But honestly, though, it's all right. But if I had to pick one, my honest opinion is going to be this Malik Nabbers. To me, he seems to have, like, everything. Everything seems to be good. His stats, everything seems to be pretty well-rounded. He got 90 speed, 90 jumping, 90 catching, 89 catching traffic, 88 spectacular, 90 short route, 87 medium route, and 91 deep route. This card right here, to me, in my opinion, is the best card to get. I'm even tempting to get it. The only reason I, I could use a third wide receiver, I got I got two good solid ones, but the reason why is because I know I'm going to end up with another wide receiver, so I got to think long term. So therefore, that's why I'm going to end up going with the tight end. So because I'm going to go with the tight end, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick them pick them right now for those uh, pick them right now. And then I'll show you. I'll go ahead and show you guys the stats. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. Once again, like I said, I'm not saying this. Guy, of course, he's he's not. The, I told you guys who the best one is, but for my reasons, I'm picking this card just because I can use them. Any six four, I can use them on my squad. But because I picked him, I'm also to show you guys what he gets. For those who do happen to want to get him and they want to know, this is what he is. I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to find out, but I do got him, so I'm also to show you guys his abilities and everything else. I'm not gonna put no abilities or anything on him. But I'm showing you guys. I'm just I'm just gonna add them to the squad and then go from there. All right. So that's what he's working with. I'm gonna show you guys just in case if he, if, if if he does because some of the some of the tight ends um are decent fullbacks. So I want to see how he looks as a fullback before I end this. Let's see if he. Oh, he only he's only at 80, 87 overall. So I wouldn't encourage that. I'll keep Gron, Gronkowski as the fullback for now. But what I'm gonna end up doing is powering down this Martellus Bennett. And then I'm gonna use my new, my new tight end Brock Bowers as my main tight end. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is getting the last season right in. My Miles Garrett is cool, but I could go ahead and upgrade that position and then uh, build my team a lot more better. So that's probably what I end up doing. I gotta think long term. Let me know who you guys go with. Um, that's my pick, and that's who uh, who I'm gonna go with. Until next time, I'm out.